Tron HUD, all the HUDs. <laughs> with the recent Battlefield 4 update, you can now go all out colourful with your heads up display. You can customise the crosshair colour and you can differentiate your different types of hit markers. So you can have separate colours for the kill shots, for your headshots, and your standard hits as well. This really gives you a feeling that you have total control of what's showing up on your screen and is much more versatile and user friendly than in any point in the past for Battlefield 4 and even pushing back into Battlefield 3 as well where HUD customization was just well virtually non-existent. So my setup is as follows. Crosshairs are green now. This color stands out much more than the basic white that we're used to. Maps like Operation Locker when you stepped outside if you were in the snowstorm it made it far too hard to see the crosshair and you couldn't rely on hip fire. You really just didn't have any way of knowing if the bullets were pointing in the right direction. Those crosshairs become extremely important when you're not aiming down sights. And with white, I couldn't really see them very well, so they've now switched over to green. Hit markers. My standard hit marker has stayed white actually. And this is purely so it makes it nice and easy for me to see if I've just hit somebody in the leg, in the chest or in the arm. And it makes it very easy to differentiate that colour between the other two different types of hit markers that I've got. Headshot notifier is red. And this mimics Battlefield Hardline. This is where the first time we saw it in the Battlefield franchise where the hit marker changed colour if you hit them in the head and I thought that was a really good choice so I've made mine red as well. It's nice and easy to know that you can adjust your firing or sort of positioning. If you've hit them in the head you know you've done double damage. And my kill notifier is blue and this, this just lets me know if I need to stop firing at somebody so I don't waste loads of bullets or if I need to switch target if there are two people standing in front of me. Now these changes might not seem that significant but once you start to use the new system properly you'll notice it becomes much easier to kill people and dropping people with fewer bullets as well because you're being fed back really important information by the game and it's really easy to see that information as well. Adding to all of those changes you can also change the colour of your reticle that you see on the site that you're using. So for all sites from the red dot sites all the way up to four times scopes you now have the option to make that a colour other than red or what it was before. I've gone for green as well, it's the same as my crosshair, as the red dots can kind of get lost in bright light from time to time, and for me at least, green just seems to show up a little bit more. All of these changes are in the name of making the experience more your own, and not relying on the game doing all of the work for you. We all know Battlefield 4 has been very sluggish in anything that it did before the CTE started out and now we have some great HUD tweaks that can really help make your game better and give you the feedback of information much faster than you ever did before. Now moving on to something totally unrelated but I still think is kind of relevant considering all these changes of the HUD, I've gone for a change of peripheral. I've recently taken receipt of a Rocat TKL Pro which is a 10 keyless mechanical keyboard with backlighting as well and I've also managed to get my hands on a Rocat tie-on gaming mouse which is the Rocat mouse that's got about I don't know 10 12 buttons on it it's got loads of buttons the reason I went for the change is because Rocat were willing to send me the gear and I thought that I'd try it out considering that my peripherals are well in terms of computer parts fairly old right now my two older pieces of equipment, the first one the keyboard was the Cooler Master CM Storm Quickfire Rapid which in itself was a mechanical gaming keyboard but I've had the thing for two and a half years now and I kind of thought it might be time to look at something a little bit fresher and for my mouse I had a Razer Mamba 2013 edition. Now I'm keeping an open mind here, I am using these peripherals and have been for about four days so far and I'm really enjoying using them and I think they're really comfortable to use but I'm not quite sure yet if it's worth me moving over to all of this gear straight away. I am going to do a review on it in the future though because I would like to show you guys these pieces of equipment too. I think they're really good pieces of equipment 
but at the moment I'm undecided whether I want to change my setup to these two or maybe mix and match with some of my old stuff. Now when I say I'm going to do a review, a lot of people have been asking me to do a gaming setup video and I said that I'd do one and I let you guys down, I haven't done one. I said like six months ago I was going to do one and I still haven't done it. The reason that I haven't done it is because I want to upgrade some of my parts. So kind of made sense that I do a review of these peripherals first and give me a little bit more time to get some of the parts that I need for my PC. I'm looking to upgrade the RAM and get a new SSD in there before I do a full review for you guys. And finally, the giveaway. You might remember that just a couple of weeks ago I did a review of the Stinky Board, which is a peripheral that you can use under your feet to control different functions of the game. There are four Cherry MX switches underneath this aluminium and plastic board that you can use to replace things like grenade and reload in certain FPS titles. It can be used for loads of different things really. All you have to do to be in a chance of winning this thing is to be subscribed to my channel, like this video and leave a comment down below that's relevant or not relevant at all, I don't really mind, and you could be in with a chance of winning the Stinky Board. It's something that I've really grown to like actually, but for me I'll always be a mouse and keyboard kind of guy and I have no real reason to have it underneath the desk underneath my foot. It's a really cool piece of equipment, but essentially I don't need it and I want to give it to somebody who wants to try it out or may actually have a proper need for it. So as I said, if you want to be in with a chance of winning, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video and just leave a comment down below. I'll be picking a winner in around a week's time. But that's all for today folks, so thank you very much for watching. Maybe you could post me some links to pictures of your HUD in Battlefield 4 now. Now that you've had a chance to change the colours anyway, I'd really like to check some of those out. But if you enjoyed the video, if you could leave me a rating and a comment, that'd be fantastic. And don't forget to head over to g2a.com slash r slash westy for great deals on the latest games. The link's in the description. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.